Paul told me in our 50 video review that I'm supposed to, uh, supposed to, you know, have footage that looks more like him. So this is my attempt at doing so. How do you turn, how do you put on a seatbelt? There we go. Oh, my face looks really red, uh, whatever. So, um, hey everybody, it's my turn. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up my puppy. Try to crash into a, eh, eh. try to crash into a, oh gosh. Wow, this is really a lot harder than I thought. I mean, we should just give a lot of respect to Paul just for the fact that he can drive while talking on this shit. Perfect. And, uh, I don't know, my hair's being funky. Um, it's my turn. It's uh, Friday. And uh, I am driving home. I'm gonna pick up Gus from Rover's Playhouse. Uh, Gus had a little bit of a, he was a scaredy dog this morning. Gus, you finally know what you're talking about. Right, right. Gus, you all right? Why is your tail between your legs? I love you. Um, he was so scared at the vet. Cause he was last time, well, two times ago when he was at the vet, he lost his balls. So, um, so. You know, he just, he's never recovered from remembering that he has no balls. You would be mad too if you lost your reproductive organs at the vet, the veterinarian. It's kind of a scary place. My friend Emily's birthday party tonight. Emily is a fantastic lady. She has her master's in piano performance. She is a great dancer and she's a beautiful human being. I love you, Emily. She won't, she doesn't watch these, so it doesn't matter. Other than that, um, I gotta tell you guys something. I hope you can hear me because there's lots of traffic noise, but life's happening, all right? So I know it sounds crazy, but I'm, I feel like I'm waking up. I feel like I'm waking up. You know, maybe it took 29 and a half years. Maybe it took a divorce. Maybe it took going to a business school that maybe I should have gone to, but also shouldn't have gone to. Maybe we're all just on these paths and they're constantly edging us closer to where we need to be uh, in one way or another. Um, but I feel like I'm waking up. I feel like I'm coming closer to who I need to be. And uh, I'm so freaking excited, okay? Uh, I can't really talk too much about it because it has to do with like work and life and where I live and where I'm living and just, you know, I gotta, Got to make sure I start the logistical things in the right order. Despite being an ENFP, I'm actually pretty ordered as a person. I like to do things sequentially in the right chronological order. I like to make lists. I got some of that type A stuff to, when it comes to getting crap done. Um, but yeah, um, huge things on the horizon. Uh, best friend Josh Carroll just got out of Burning Man. It sounds like he had some sham shamanistic experiences there and uh, I want him to show me what he has learned from his experiences and from his trip. No pun intended. Um, other than that, uh, I will include some footage now from the birthday party tonight. It's the birthday party. We are going to have a good time, y'all. We're off to the Grand Forks birthday party. This is for my vlog. Oh, it's a, it's, it's a video. <laughs> anyway, my friend Alex and I just won $2 playing blackjack. I want to thank the blackjack strategy card. You are so good to me. Uh, here we are in Grand Forks. Um, as you can see, we're at a very great establishment. It's the best. There's a birthday girl in the back. She's trying to hide. What's the meaning? What's the purpose of your life? Come with me. This is it. This is it. This is it. Alex and I are the only two guys 
on a dance floor of a hundred women. Just, just a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. One hundred. One hundred. Straight party right here, dude. All right. Look at this. This is life. If you're not drunk, partying on a Friday, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Wobble with me. Wobble with me. Yeah, yeah. You're a big girl. Back it up. Amen.